Many of the wonders of ancient Egypt's culture have survived for almost three millennia. These monuments are among the most well-known and long-lasting tourist attractions. Many of the wonders of ancient Egypt's culture have survived for almost three millennia. For travelers from all around the world, these monuments are some of the most popular and lasting sites. Archaeologists and explorers have devoted their careers to uncovering the tales behind these magnificent temples, sculptures, and tombs, as well as the pharaohs who constructed them. The following is a list of 11 of ancient Egypt's most important monuments. So before start please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon hit that like button it is free for you does not cost you anything but it tremendously helps my channel. Number 11. The Colossi of Memnon. The Memnon Colossi are two 20-meter tall statues of Pharaoh Amenhotep III. His funerary temple was demolished over time, and the seated statues were part of it. The Colossi are now part of Luxor's Theban necropolis on the Nile's east bank. The Colossi are made up of big, hefty stones that are stacked on top of one another without the use of mortar. Several times, including by Roman Emperor Septimius Severus, the Colossi stone was repaired. They've recently been threatened by pollution and wear, so they're being helped to limit future deterioration and keep them from collapsing. The name Memnon originates from the Greeks, who renamed the monument after their hero from the Battle of Troy. Number 10. The Valley of the Kings. The Valley of the King is a cemetery for the pharaohs of ancient Egypt's New Kingdom, 1539 to 1075 BC, on the Nile's west bank near Luxor. The Desert Valley has a plethora of aristocratic tombs dating from this time period, ranging in size from single coffins to huge underground tombs holding entire families on their trip to the afterlife. The tomb of the young king Tutankhamun, discovered complete by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922, is the most renowned from the Valley of the Kings. Later pharaohs like Ashurmheb and Ramesses II, both buried nearby, attempted to erase Tutankhamun from Egyptian history, ensuring that robbers and adventurers could not disturb his tomb for over 3,500 years. Number 9. Temple of Edfu. The Temple of Edfu was constructed during the Ptolemaic Kingdom, which spanned Egypt from Alexander the Great's death to Cleopatra's and Rome's reigns. Horus, the deity of monarchs, and the sky, and his spouse Hathor are honored in Edfu. Due to the advent of Christianity and the church's need to drive out paganism, Edfu fell out of favor as a temple in the late 4th century. Arson severely damaged the hypostyle hall, and numerous reliefs were defiled. Villagers ultimately constructed over Edfu, virtually burying it. The big luxury river boats and small, basic Falaka vessels that cruise the Nile between Luxor and Aswan have made Edfu a popular resort. Number 8. The Step Pyramid of Djoser. Djoser's Step Pyramid was the very first pyramid constructed by the ancient Egyptians. It was the first major monument erected with stone, standing over 62 meters tall, and was an architectural accomplishment unlike the mud-brick construction of prior royal graves. Djoser chose Saqqara, near the royal capital Memphis, as the location for his burial. The Step Pyramid was formerly a mastaba tomb, a subterranean burial chamber with ground-level chambers above to hold pharaoh's gifts and sacrifices. In Hodop, Djoser's royal architect, constructed atop the mastabim to make the step pyramid appear as a gigantic stairway so that his king's soul might go closer to the sun during his afterlife trip. Number 7. Luxor Temple. Pharaohs of the New Kingdom used the Luxor Temple to rekindle their reign in the eyes of the gods. Amenhotep III and Ramesses II erected statues to commemorate the Obed Festival, 
during which the gods Amun, Mat, and Khans traveled from their Karnak temple to the temple of Luxor, and stayed for 24 days while the city celebrated. The colonnade of Amenhotep III, the great port of Ramesses II, the first pylon, and the standing statue of Ramesses II are all notable monuments within Luxor Temple. Number 6. The Bent Pyramid and Red Pyramid of Sneferu. Sneferu was the father of Khufu and the first pharaoh of ancient Egypt's fourth dynasty. He reigned for around 50 years, which allowed him to construct three pyramids, two of which are located at Dasher. The Bent Pyramid acquired its name because architects realized they had to alter the angle of the pyramid since it was built too steeply. The pyramid changes shape halfway up the sides, giving it the appearance of being twisted. It was constructed of big limestone blocks and finished with smooth limestone of higher grade, which may still be seen on the outside walls. The second is known as the Red Pyramid due to the crimson hue of the limestone due to oxidation. The tower was initially covered with white limestone, but because the The tower was initially covered with white limestone, but because the construction was a perfect pyramid, the sides were level enough for robbers to easily stroll along the surface and remove the white stone, leaving just the red. Number 5. The Mortuary Temple of Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut's Mortuary Temple is located at the Valley of the Kings on the west bank of the Nile, below the rocky cliff face of Deir el Bahari and dates from the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt. Senenmut, the royal architect, built her funerary temple, which was dedicated to the deity Amun. Hatshepsut was a rare find, a female pharaoh, dubbed history's first great woman by academics. She reigned for over two decades until poisoning herself accidentally while attempting to address a genetic skin problem. Number 4. Karnak Temple. Karnak was Amun primary, Ra's place of worship, and is considered one of Egypt's holiest sites. The structure served as a focal point for Thebes' festivities, now Luxor. Over the course of more than 2,000 years of continuous usage, it has been added to, modified, and improved. Hormhead, and later Ramesses too tore down a temple to aid and erected by rival King Akhenaten at Karnak. The Hypostyle Hall, Utmosa's obelisk, Hatshepsut's obelisk, Hormheb's Great Edict, and the Avenue of Sphinxes are among the highlights of Karnak. Number 3. The Great Sphinx, Giza. The Great Sphinx of Giza is the most distinctive monument in ancient Egypt. As the Sphinx sits adjacent to his valley temple complex and the causeway leading to his pyramid, it is thought that 4th dynasty pharaoh Khafre created the mythological monster from a huge rock by adding his face and giving it the body of a lion. According to legend, the Sphinx's nose was blown off by Napoleon Bonaparte's forces in the 1700s, but the most likely explanation is that it was damaged by Muslim groups in the late 1300s to prevent local farmers from making sacrifices to the monument. Number 2. Abu Simbel. Ramesses the Great carved the enormous Abu Simbel temple straight into rock during the 19th dynasty as a reminder to ancient Egypt's Nubian region that he was to be worshipped as a living deity. The tiny entry to the Great Temple is guarded by four 20-meter tall colossi of Ramesses II, which depict him in the Battle of Kadesh or communing with gods Arad Harakti, Amun Arad, Ta, and Ramesses II himself. The small temple was erected in honor of the sky goddess Hathor and contains 10-meter-high sculptures of Ramesses II's wife Queen Nefertari. Number 1. The Great Pyramids of Giza. Four 20-meter-tall colossi of Ramesses II guard the small entrance to the Great Temple, 
depicting him in the Battle of Kadesh or communing with gods are Aherakti, Amunare, Ta, and Ramesses to himself. The small temple was built in honor of the sky goddess Hathor and features statues of Ramesses II's white queen Nefertari that stand 10 meters tall. The second pyramid, which rises 136 meters tall, was erected by Khufu's son Khafer. It appears to be the biggest of the three, although it was constructed at a greater altitude. Menkur built the third and smallest pyramid, 65 meters, which was finished about 2510 BCE.